of them with me I can count my numbers Will you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten One, two, three, four, five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten Ten, 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 ten Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty Twenty, 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 twenty Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty Thirty, 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 thirty Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five Thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty Forty, 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 forty Forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five Forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty Fifty, 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 fifty I can count my numbers Will you count them with me? I can count my numbers Will you count them with me? More than three. So five is the bigger number. Nine and zero. Which is the bigger number? Let's use counters again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And zero. Zero means nothing. Nine is definitely more than zero. <laughs> so nine is the bigger number. There's time for one more. The number eight and the number six. Which is the bigger number? One. Hi, Kinder families. I love telling story problems. Can you try to solve these story problems with me? Here we go. Katie ate two strawberries and three blackberries. How many fruits did she eat all together? Let's try it. Katie had one, two strawberries and one, two, three blackberries. It helps me to draw a picture when I'm doing story problems. I can also use my fingers. So Katie had two strawberries and three blackberries. Let's count how many fruits she had all together using her fingers. One, two, three, four, five. She had five fruits all together. Can you say the math sentence with me? Two plus three equals five. Great job, kinder friends. Can you try another one? Let's read it together. 
Bobby bought four carrots and three mushrooms. How many vegetables did he buy in total? That's another way of saying all together. Let's draw the pictures. One, two, three, four carrots, and one, two, three mushrooms. Let's see if we can use our fingers together and figure out this equation. So Bobby bought four carrots and three mushrooms. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He bought seven vegetables all together. Can you say the math sentence with me? Four plus three equals seven. Nice job, kinder friends. Let's try another one together. Wendy ate three eggs and five slices of bacon for breakfast. How many things did she eat all together? Ooh, this one's making me hungry. Let's draw our picture first. Wendy ate one, two, three eggs and one, two, three, four, five slices of bacon. Let's use our fingers to do this. Three eggs plus five slices of bacon. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wendy ate eight things for breakfast. Can you say the math sentence with me now? Three plus five equals eight. Nice job, kinder friends. Let's do one more together, ready? Peter ate four tacos and one plate of nachos. How many things did he eat all together? Here we go, let's draw our pictures. One, two, three, four tacos and one plate of nachos. Let's use our fingers to try to figure this out. Four tacos plus one plate of nachos. You probably could have done this one in your head, huh? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Peter ate five things all together and he probably had a tummy ache, right? <laughs> Can you say the math sentence with me? Four plus one equals five. Great job, kinder friends. Now it's your turn. Can you find somebody in your family to tell a math story to? Use the things that you ate for breakfast or the things you ate for lunch so you can tell your math story. Have fun, kinder friends. Bye-bye.